Welcome back, me, Mucky Knots. It's me, Jack, live from the Mucky House. And on today's show, we are making some wishes. That's right. I found an old Lando Calrissian action figure down in the basement. I didn't even know what it was. It was covered with so much dust, practically caked with the stuff. And right as I wiped off the dust, a purple cloud appeared, and it granted me three wishes. Well, I've used my wishes up, but I think it's time that we met another wishful listener and find out what do they want to wish for from Lando. Let's find out. Let's go to the phones now and meet our next wisher and find out what is on their mind from Maryland. Say hello, me monkey nuts, to Isla! Hello, Isla. How are you? Good. Great. Welcome to the monkey house. Are you excited to do some wishing? Yeah. Great. Now, I do need to ask you, uh, this is uh, for verification purposes, have you ever before wished on a Lando Calrissian action figure? No. Okay, that's good. I know, so many syllables, right? It's like gibberish. Uh, Lando Calrissian. Oh, where do we start? Old friend of Han Solo's from the Star Wars uh, series. Um, he uh, was the original owner of the Millennium Falcon, lost it in a game to Han Solo, became the mayor of Cloud City, eventually saved the day in Return of the Jedi, and is going to be in the new Star Wars movie. Uh, it's an action figure of him. Uh, would you like to make some wishes on this one, Isla? Okay, great. Let me just hand it over to you. And then just do me the favor and just start wiping off some of the dust there on Lando Cove. Oh, there it goes. Wow. It's totally working loud and clear. Isla, you'll notice that you are now being surrounded by a thick purple fog of magic. And that means it's time for you to start making some wishes. Isla, what is your first wish? Um, for my dad to stop doing these Star Wars jokes. Wait. <laughs> Oh, it sounds like your dad and I have a similar affliction. You are going to wish for your dad to stop making Star Wars jokes. Um, yes. Does he do that a lot, Isla? No, just on the way to soccer practice. Oh, wait, is he in the car right now? Um, I'm actually, like, waiting in the car. But you're waiting in the car. Is your dad in the car with you waiting? Uh, no, he's a coach at soccer. Oh, he's coaching at soccer. Oh, okay. Well, listen, at some point in today's show, you got to get him to call back and tell us some Star Wars jokes. Uh, wait, let me tell you a Star Wars joke right now, Isla, and you tell us whether this is the kind of joke your dad would make. Okay, here's the here's the joke. Isla, uh, where did the Rebels get the plan for the Death Star? Where? It was posted to Wookie Leaks. <laughs> is that the kind of joke your dad would make? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, so you're all done with those, is what you're saying. You don't want to hear any more from your dad. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, okay, uh, audience, what do you think about that? Isla is putting a gag order on dad jokes concerning Star Wars, okay? Audience is vociferously in favor of that gag order. <laughs> we'll see if that comes true, Isla. What is your second wish? Um, for us to finally win a soccer game. Oh, my gosh, so you have a game right now. Like, as soon as you get out of the car, you're going to no. go play your game. Is it today or is it another day? On Saturday, okay. Is this your last practice before your soccer game? Yeah, this is my last practice and game. Oh my gosh. Okay, so final practice today, final game on Saturday, and you're wishing to Lando that you'll win that final game. Oh gosh. Uh, I mean, it's a little counterproductive that we're having this conversation when probably the thing that'll help the most is you actually being in practice, but let's see if this works. Audience, Isla wants Lando to grant a one soccer game. How's that for a wish? Okay, that sounds like a great one. Okay, Isla, that's two wishes. Now, as you know, you only get three once you make this third wish. Whether the audience likes it or not, that's it for the wishes. What are you going to wish for, Isla? For you to have a happy birthday. <gasps> oh, gasp! You're wishing me a happy birthday for your final wish? Yes. Oh, Isla, what a selfless and kind, empathetic wish. Wow. Uh, what would be a great thing for me to do on my birthday? Any ideas? Um, go trapezing. Tra okay. <laughs> I'll do I'm not sure. Based on my clumsiness record, that might actually lead to a very bad birthday. I might end up in urgent care, but I'm going to take your advice. Audience. So, uh, uh, well, oh, I what's get, that? You're, like, hooked into this harness, and, and you hold on to this thing, and then you fall on this, like, mat. Oh, okay. So you're saying it's not as dangerous as it sounds when you're describing it. No. Okay. 
I don't know if I believe you or not, but uh, it sounds like a wish. Audience, Isla just wished me a happy birthday for the final wish. Isla, thank you so much. And oh no, look at that. The Lando's uh, purple fog is uh, sucking back into his uh, cute little Kenner body there. And that means he's no good to you anymore. It's time to pass this Lando off to someone else. Isla, good luck with your game on Saturday. I hope this wish comes true. See you later, Isla. Toodaloo. Audience, give it up for Isla and Marilyn, who's off to practice soccer before her final soccer game.